Welcome back to Music in the Mitten and More, a segment of Summit Sessions Live devoted entirely to music in Michigan and then some. I'm your host, Kylie Schapansky, bringing you the latest news from music, concerts, and more. Let's hop into it. Central Michigan University School of Music will continue to present live in-person concerts every Thursday night this semester. Our first 250 masked patrons will attend live from Staples Family Concert Hall. You can also stream it on the CMU School of Music Facebook Live. The Broadway smash hit Little Shop of Horrors is coming to CMU November 10th through the 14th. While auditions have passed, they are still looking for some crew members. If interested, please contact Dan Daughtry at daugh1dp at cmich.edu. Musicians and music lovers alike participated in workshops and browsed vendor stalls at the annual Folk Music Festival over the weekend at the Midland County Fairgrounds. The event was hosted by the Folk Music Society of Midland. Tim McGraw and Lauren Elena will be performing at Soaring Eagle Casino on September 18th at 8 p.m. with other concerts including Megadeth and Lamb of God on September 24th and Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa on the 26th. Apple Music announced that it's created a process to properly identify and compensate all of the individual creators involved in making a DJ mix. Using technology from the audio recognition app Shazam, Apple Music is working with major and independent labels to devise a fair way to divide streaming royalties among DJs, labels, and artists who appear in the mixes. Michigan's premier original orchestra is returning this fall with a historic season of live performances that begin in October and run through the spring of 2022. For the Michigan Philharmonic, this year will be a Take Two celebration, a series of concerts dedicated to the community and honoring its 76th birthday. For more information on upcoming concerts and performances, you can visit michiganphil.org. That's michiganphil.org. The 2021 VMAs were this past Monday and were hosted by Doja Cat, the winner of last year's Best New Artist. There were performances from Normani, Lil Nas X, Olivia Rodrigo, Justin Bieber, and more. Majorly anticipated categories included Artist of the Year, Song of the Year, and Video of the Year. What did you think of the winners? Jack Antonoff, lead singer of indie pop band Bleachers, has been named the 2021 to 2022 Academic Year Artist in Residence at New York University's Clive Davis Institute of Recorded Music. The residency will include master classes and workshops with students on music making and production. Nearly 40 years since they last made music together, the members of ABBA are back. The Swedish pop group has announced an upcoming hologram concert in London, as well as its first studio album in four decades. That's it for this episode's installment of Music in the Mitten and More. Come back next time for more Michigan music news. But until then, let's get back to music here on Summit Sessions Live. We'll be right back. <laughs>